This is the soprano xylophone part on a hornpipe. Let's begin with removing the certain bars that we do not need for this piece of music. Carefully with both hands, remove C, D, and low E. Then remove the middle B bar, E, G, and high A bars. Set them aside. The beginning of this piece for the soprano part is just a series of patterns that have a space in between them. For example, the first four notes are 16th notes that go D, A, F, C, meaning there is a space or a bar always in between these notes. The next four 16th notes go as follows, D, A, C, G, A. This pattern goes like this. So the first two measures go like this. One and two and. Play that one more time for you. Now you repeat that again for the second phrase, so the next bar. So the total time will go like this. One, and two, and. Do it again. You do that one time differently. Let me play it again. So the last measure of this phrase, the A section, goes like this. And you end right before the second line. The second line goes a little bit differently. We still have a space in between our notes. And as you look, we start on the and of the first beat. So one, two, one more time, I'll play that one more time. We have one, D, A, D, three, C, G, C. The next measure of the second section goes as follows. Let me play one more time for you. One. The third measure is exactly like the first measure, as in it starts on the and of one, hmm, three. But the last measure of it goes like this. Still leave a space in the middle. Oh, we do it one more time for you. One. So let me play the whole B section for you of horn pipe. One. 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 Three. One. Let me play all of Hornpipe for you. If you need to pause this video and practice any of these parts, please do so now, and it, I will play it with you and play it for you for the last part. Here's the beginning. And. And. 